That's right, guys. We got the violins playing. That means it's serious time. It is. Ooh, we have guys going, oh, now you know. Now you know it's legit. Yeah, yeah. Man, Trap versus Lee Knock. Now this is a match right here, my friend. That's right. How is this one going to go? I don't know. Actually, no one I think knows. Trap maybe wins? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I think Trap's fantastic, and he is. And he's amazing, and he's he's such a good Protoss. And he can play all the different phases of this matchup. Ellie's Rogue's teammate. But who did I say might be able to give Rogue a run for his money in this tournament? A purple-haired warrior. The one, the only. Yeah, I'm like, I got purple hair. I'm like, no, you don't, Bjorn. You don't right now. I'm sorry. It used to be red, but now it's purple. It fades. All right. Acid plant. Lost and found. Dream catcher. I'm excited for this. Hey, Pretty Protoss. soon we're going to have that. More Rotosses tonight. Oh, yeah, we fixed it. Okay, guys. This is it. The last best of uh, best of three. Is, today's going really fast, right? What time is it? It I feels feel like, fast. I feel like I'm not even warmed up. Yeah, it's, it's nine. We've been on for two and a half hours. Short day, Artosis, wow, that unfortunately. Is, that is fast. Well, maybe it'll turn into a long day now. Let's hope for several draws in a, low, in a row. Did Trap just take a drink of water, close his water, and then take another drink of water? He might have. Is he going to put his headphones on? Yep. Oh, that means we're just about ready. Ooh. Enoch looking at his wrists. All right, guys. I don't know why we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Lenoch didn't even loading up. Lenoch just looked over at him. He's like, are you going to put water? on your headset already? Right. Oh, now he's having to sing Notice a drink they water. they both cap their waters. They don't want to knock them over and spill on their keyboards, guys. That's the worst. I do that sometimes. I do. I'm so angry when I, I do that, too. I ruined two mechanical keyboards like that. One time like I actually that. knocked a cup of ramen over into my keyboard <laughs> and ruined it. I was so angry. Yeah. It's like the middle of the night and I had no spare keyboard. That's awful. I'm it was, so sorry. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It, it makes me too upset. Okay, finally the game is loaded up. Game one, Acid Plant, Trap versus Lenok. Match one, fight. Gin Air Green Wings. Trap. These people are liking to block his hatchery today. Leenock. Did Trap not send it at the right time or did Leenock make it one supply quicker? He might have. All right. I don't know. I was watching the screen the viewers see, so I actually didn't catch. Hmm. Yeah, the probe was sent out very early and did not seem to do what it was intended to do. Which might be a problem. A lot of times, some of these openings are kind of centered around the fact that you should be always be able to get there. So, Yeah, uh, you can, though, I've seen it happen before when this was popular on various maps. Yeah. Um, the, the Zerg player would occasionally get the hatchery one drone quicker. And then the probe doesn't block it because you send it out as close to possible. Some O gaming support here. Isn't that the guy that said he was Todd's brother? That's Todd's brother. So he claims. Yeah. I see no tattoos. I don't. Yeah, believe. yeah. I was like, yeah. If you're Todd's brother, where's your sleeves of tattoos? Yeah. Or is that tell me that doesn't run in the family? Where's that tattoo you have of Jana Proudmore coming out of that lion's mouth? Huh? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I didn't know Todd had any siblings. Not it always struck me as more of an only child, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That's cool. Yeah. It's cool to meet Todd's brother. We got to say hi to him before the show started. So. What if Todd doesn't have a brother in that guy's line? That's, like, really weird. Could be. I don't I'm know. like, you know, you didn't have to lie about that. That was totally unnecessary. What Todd What's just never told us up? he had a brother. He's a tall guy. Todd's a tall guy. Yeah. They both look like Todd. They both, yeah, there's a Todd look to him. Yeah. There's a French accent you cannot get enough of. Mm. That's true. Stargate on the way here, mm. Atosis. Mm. Indeed. And, and so is a stalker. So a little yeah. bit of a mind game coming out of uh, Mr. Trap over here. You make the stalker. It makes your opponent think that you don't have a Stargate. Because the right. stalker stops Overlords. So he'll go Oracle first with this. Almost undoubtedly. Mm-hmm. Here comes that initial adept. Looks like the ling blocking is going to be probably a little bit too much. Wow, he got the creep tumor. 
Uh, it will eventually shade away. There's that Oracle coming up. I think that uh, this was Sorry, actually... Where did that probe come from? Did you just see... That probe? Yeah. Came from Linux space, I guess. Huh. I guess, yeah. I guess yeah. it was still there. It was sort of weird. Um, I suddenly saw this probe moving around with this one mineral patch. Like, oh, I gotta get this back to the Nexus! By the way, I think it's kind of smart that uh, he went for this build with the Oracle. Because if you think about the Oracle that Hero had against Linux, it did really well. Uh, because Linox was like really kind of timing his spores out a little bit late. I guess he gets to see exactly what's going on <laughs> with these things. Yeah. What is this Oracle doing? It's not like, much, Tasis. Not much day, at all. Kid. You know what? He's a little bit afraid. This is something that can happen when you're playing like Linox today, where Linox yeah. kind of scared the hell out of everyone oh, when he did the Bane Bust, I right? Mean, that, that's one of the funny things about the way these groups work is all the players are allowed to watch yeah. the games, right? So you're looking at that saying, well, what in the hell is Leenok doing in his PvZ yeah, yeah. or his EVP? Leenok could have been going for Bane all-in. Uh, this probe is actually getting way more scouting done than it ever really yeah. should. But will those minerals ever be brought back to the Nexus? I don't think so, Tasis. I think that this probe is on a one-way sightseeing trip. You might be right, Artosis. Five more gates coming down now with Zealot legs. Yeah. It's leg day for the Zealots. That is pretty aggressive right there, isn't it? It is. We don't actually see uh, Temple Archives or anything like that either. So yeah. just very hyper aggressive. Let's, Let's see if it keeps mining gas, Artosis. Is he going to go Hydralis Den right here? I think Lenox is just going to die. Yep, I see, I'll still see more drones coming. I see four more Lings. There's a Hydrogen. Yeah. Is it too late, though? Look at Trap just sitting here, casually on 33 workers. Yeah. Damn, he's like... If this doesn't kill Lenok, I don't know This is actually pretty bad, too, because he's already anymore. getting these four drones, and possibly way more, so yeah. Zerg may be inclined to make more drones right before the oh. actual timing attack comes in. Yeah, eight drones. Good call there. So Yeah, here we go. If Yeah, I mean, Trap has done everything right this game. It looked kind of weird. But he faked things with the gas, he faked with the soccer, the Oracle didn't really move out much. Yeah, I think Leenok is going to get rolled here. Yeah. He's going to get rolled up into a Kimbop and then eaten. Um, Zealot Legs is done. That's kind of cute. Delays yeah. the warp in just slightly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't everything think you can do is nice. Yeah. It's just... Hey, maybe if he brings everything back to his natural and makes a was... wall, there's a small chance. Well, look at that, Artosis. Yeah. You don't say. However... Well, I definitely do say, but I think he's still dead. Yeah. Okay, here we go. The Oracle is hitting over here in the front. Zealot's uh, being uh, shifted You got to pull the here. drones, too. You got to pull the drones, too, I yep. think. At least a couple of them. Jesus. This is like that scene in The me? Shining where they're... His axe in the door. What am I seeing here? Okay, finally takes that out. Well, Tasis, I think what you're seeing is God knock himself at work. Yeah. Uh, well, that actually, I have to say, first of all, I did never in a million years thought he was going to hold that. But also, I think Trap kind of messed that up. Well, he certainly he, messed that up. Yeah. When he came in for the push, oh. uh, he actually dropped three of the four zealots that were in the prism in front of the wall where all the other zealots were. Yeah. All he, he had to do was, was get a good Just one of the hatcheries. He had a bunch of zealots just charging around outside, and now Lenok is in a dominating position. Ardo bubs. He's making a baneling nest. That was a that was a sick hold though. Yeah. That oh. was like. Well, it's just so according funny because to, on paper that does not work. Yeah. But. According to build orders. Trap yeah. should have won this game, but uh, what really matters is who wins the game, and that's Leenok. This is so ambitious, having that War Prism over those Hydras yeah. like that. I'm like, what am I seeing? All right. Trap bungles the attack, and Leenok is in a 1-0 lead. Huh. Well, Leenok looking so strong right now. You can see him. He's ready for round eight. It's been a while. Yep. Well, it might be his time right now, Artos. is Trap. I mean, that was a StarCraft equivalent of, like, slipping on the banana peel and then stepping on the rake that hits you in the nose, and then you sit down on a bench, and it's actually a bench that had wet paint on it. I mean, that just did not go the way it was supposed to. No. Yeah, he, Trap was like the burglars in Home Alone in that uh, in that game. Yeah, he should have been easily able to do it. Yeah. I'm like, but, Macaulay Culkin is eight in this movie, okay? Yeah. You're two adult burglars, all right? <laughs> just, you know. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> the real life uh, Home Alone is a... That's right. It's a far different movie, Tasis. Right. It's a very fast movie, too. <laughs>
What was it you saying? If you were the burglar in Home Alone, you would have... Uh, you heard I, a gunshot and the credits would have rolled. Yeah, yeah, you would have had a new plasma TV and you'd be out one kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lost and found is our map for game number two. Lenok with a 1-0 lead. He might be able to survive this pretty scary Protoss group. Let's see if Trap can maybe engineer a comeback. Game two's ready. Match two. Fight. In air green wings, trap. So that quick probe again. Lenok. And makes that hatchery. Okay, so despite this quick probe scout, hatchery does go up again. I can't believe that that game went that way. Yeah. Uh, well, it's so crazy to me. He really hit the build order well. Like, that's... I mean, you can you can stop that build order if you know it's coming, but he absolutely did not know it was coming. But the reaction was very, very strong, too, right? He slowed everything down with his lings just slightly, made the wall, stood the queen there, got his transfuses, had the hydras behind. The funny thing, too, is if he has anything else behind other than hydras, like, hydra DPS is super-duper high. So they were like really mowing down those zealots as quickly as it can possibly be. It's just as yeah. soon as the zealots get on top of them, they're dead. They're just out of there. So uh, definitely a really great hold by Leonok. That was the only way he could win that game from that spot. Like that Pretty was much. that should have been an unwinnable well, it situation. It was Leonok's great reacting as well as Trap basically bungling the entire attack. Ah, that was a, a little bit of bungling going. It's definitely uh, both both sides. If it was a house, it'd be a bungalow. Just yeah. saying. I think it would have been a shanty, to be honest. <laughs> it would have been a tent that got blown over in a hurricane. <laughs> By the way, man, we got a typhoon coming tomorrow. That's true, yeah. It's going to be kind of crazy. We got a cast, too. I'm almost a little bit nervous. There's actually Everything's a big warning closed. system everybody's supposed to stay inside, but, but I have to the go things to work we up do in for esports. I tell you, if it's really insane. You might sleep at your house, Stasis. You can sleep at my house, party. Yeah. We could stay up all night. Yeah. Watching Indiana Jones and talking about girls. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. So, of course. Um, so, Stargate on the way. That's right. Nothing looks weird so far. Yep. Here comes that initial adept. Let's see if this does any damage. Oh, wait. Yes. Trap's been very good about keeping his probe out on the map and alive for longer than I think I've yeah, seen I'm, anyone I'm do so it. Yeah, I'm so not used to seeing the probes that are out this long. Yeah. We saw that in game one where I'm like, where did that probe come from? Is that actually always there? Yeah. I'm so used to seeing that just get picked up. I'm kind of paying a bit more attention this time, right? He's like keeping it there when his adept is excuse me, when his adept is there and then running it away when the adept runs. But he kind of has it out on the map. It's kind of neat the way that he's, he's working it. Okay, Ling speed. Uh, about to finish yeah. up. Wow, the probe lives. Yeah. That's a mighty probe right there. Mm -hmm. Probe's never going to forget this day. Phoenix first this game. That's multiple depths. Of course, seeing the Phoenix first, you can still count on there being an Oracle. Yes. Really no reason to not knock it in an Oracle. You have a Stargate. Yeah. I love, by the way, that Leenok continually is doing this. He did this against Deer as well in the round of 32, going for pretty quick layers overall. I think it's a underused build from Zerg. Sometimes they go uh, quite a bit later and just try to be like, okay, I have roaches and lings and stuff, and like, let's stop your attacks. But Lenok has like this double threat, right? Like, Lair is where you can start to really get aggressive without being all in as Zerg. Uh, or you could do an all in, obviously, like a Shiris sure. or something, but it's not as popular anymore. But also, like, for instance, if you rush up to Hydras and they try to attack you and you hold it, you are so far ahead, it's insane. Like, normally you're going roaches to hold things. So if you can go hydras to hold things, like, that's what you wanted anyways. No one wants roaches. Only Zerk players in ZBC want roaches. Or Dark and, and yeah, Zerk wants roaches. <laughs> you know, Zerk or whatever the hell, you yeah. know. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways. 
There's that quick Hydralis Den again, mm -hmm. and it's matching up against Archon Drop, so that's yeah. actually pretty good for the Enoch. So going to be very different this time around. Yeah. Not everything is hinged on the uh, Warp Prism harass and attack working. It's simply there to try to slow down to curb the growth of the Zerg. Yeah. Uh, and let the Protoss safely expand since the Zerg has to devote enough attention to defending this, enough uh, resources and units and everything to holding this off. And normally it's like uh, roaches running around, hitting the Archons and stuff, yeah. but uh, because Leenok rushes to the Hydra list then, he can just go Hydra, which means that just it, there won't be as much damage dealt by the Archon drop. And generally what you'll see is a very careful Archon drop that's like clearing creep mostly. And you'll see the, the Protoss player just rushing into Psystorm. Okay. He likes that fourth, by the way. That's not the first time we've seen him take that. Yeah, it's interesting that he does that. I mean, we're still going to see people, at least in my... Am I wrong about this? Does anybody else expand like that, is there? I don't see right. it very often. It's funny that he takes it, but I guess he's already That's pushing creep up fourth, that way. Yeah. I guess it makes the fifth easier to take, though, right? Because it's like the fifth is so close. Yeah, if that fourth dies, you just take the fourth most people take, I guess. I guess, yeah. yeah I don't know. It's kind of interesting, though. Okay, there's a warping over here, though. Now, of course, we were just talking about this fourth base out here. This is far away, and there's no creep connecting this yet, so... Yeah, you shouldn't be able to keep that alive. Okay. That should get canceled easy. And for all our speculation, it looks like this will just go down, and you will have to make the fourth in the normal location. Good play. All right, the Psy Storm is on the way. Very important upgrade right now. Bainling speed coming. Hydralisk upgrades still being made. Leenox slowly but surely adding to his drone count. Okay, things going a little bit more smoothly for Trap this time around. I do feel like Trap might have an edge if this game goes into a pretty standard one, and it seems like it is Aww. being steered in that direction. Do you agree? I'm, I'm interested to see it, right? Because I think that Trap has good late game PvZ, so I'm not going to doubt him in that situation, but I like the stubbornness with which Leenok stays on Lingbane Hydra. I think that a lot of Zergs, like, had one or bad, two bad experiences against Psy Storm Immortal. Yeah. And so everyone's like, well, I got to get to the Broodlord. And it's like, well, Lingbane Hydra, if you have a lot of drones, can kind of go on forever. <laughs> you know? You can kind of keep up. They aren't going to be able to just go carrier. It's not It's not that simple. You know, you hit a couple good Baneling hits. and So I I like the, the way in which Leenok plays the later part of this matchup. So there you go. There's my weird convoluted answer. I'll take it. Here comes the War Prism out now. A back and home trap's going to continue to increment Immortals out. That's going to make his army stronger just overall. As time passes. Seems like there's already Hydras in a really good position. That's Here's Trap. Like, watch this, Leenok. This is where you take your fourth base. Yeah, and that's an excellent timing on it. The fact yeah. that they're getting their fourths at about the same time. I and they're like still that for Protoss, on that. man. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, I mean... It's, it's a small thing, but it can actually add up to a lot, as Leenok did expand in a weird way. Yeah. And notice Leenok's continuing to expand down towards the bottom. He's actually taking the bottom center. He needs to play a little bit of catch-up. He does want yeah. to stay one base ahead. Well, Trap's defense and spread are both amazing. Like, this looks like all of his buildings, his spread of high Templars, shield batteries, photon cannons, even the pylons where they're placed and everything, Trap looks really solid right now. I don't think that there's anywhere that can be broken right now uh, if Leenok attacks. But he's getting six drop lords. So we're just going to have to hold our breath and see what those can get done. But uh, Trap is like so on top of scouting everything. Look at that. He's got like Patron Phoenix looking for drops in that area. Look at this. That Archon is just to eat Banelings that try to come in. Oh. Uh, here we go, guys. This drop's about to start up. It looks like Protoss is going to brace for impact. I'm sorry. I'm so, okay, that's what I was confused about. I'm like, where are those drones mining? All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, there's no hatchery over there, right? And uh, so here comes a big canceled. warp in. It looks like exactly this is going to get cleaned up, no problem. And the warp prism should be able to get uh, okay. Okay, that drop is a big one. Yeah. <gasps> Three phoenixes. That I don't think still is obviously be get enough. it off. Yes. <laughs> Even with that one Overlord that's taking some damage. Wow, even he lives through this. Mm. Wow, what a real what a real homie that Overseer is. <laughs> yeah. He's some of those taking shots one for the team. Yeah, a few Banelings in there. It seems like that doesn't really end up doing that much. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Okay, he's coming through here now, takes out those probes. Okay, the Hydras are actually doing he, some work. Is he going to get this Nexus, though? Keep in mind, there's going to be another opportunity for a drop. I don't know if Trap is going to be fast enough. Trap comes down. Yeah, huge oh. amount of units going towards that fourth base, but plenty of cannons and uh, batteries oh, here. Oh, this is a good surround on this one Immortal. Wow, just storms the Immortal right out like that. No problem. Because that's one way to handle that attack. Okay, so it seems like uh, like water off a duck's back or whatever the expression is. Trap just holds yeah, that. Yeah, it's, uh, He's got those like down no feathers. Yep. Now it takes us float so easily. See those zealots standing there? Yeah. Do they look more like they're waitering or loitering? Well, right now they're loitering because they're not walking. And uh, they're also not buying anything in this Protoss base. Okay. See? See what I'm saying? Yeah. You understand now. Yes, they both end in ING. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do follow you, Artosis. <laughs> you and me? No, we we get each I other. I get it. I'm on the we're same page as you. We're truly meant say. to be. Yes. Um, Trap is everywhere, man. He's playing great right now. Yeah. Well, this is the kind of game Trap needed to, to bring here. Oh, he needs to get those drones out of there. Yeah, like the ones off. Trap doesn't still. have to do anything spectacular. If he's not dying to these attacks yeah. and he's continuously wiping out that base, I mean, he, that's going to be enough. He will eventually outgrow the Zerg. He basically has to keep an eye on when Broodlords are coming. That's, that's like, kind of the only thing. And look, Prism is doing so much work with the harassment. He sees right when the Hive finishes, he sees that there's a greater Spire on the way. There's just, this is all he needs to know. He can just go into uh, either Tempest or Carriers. A lot of people are not favoring the Tempest right now. By the way, the uh, War Prism has been taken out. Uh, we're going to have another drop over here. Yeah. I think Lenox going to try to do what he did earlier. Yeah, and these Overlords being real homies, man. Yeah, they are. They're tanking a lot. Phoenixes have no idea. Uh, all right. Well, the, all the Immortals are headed towards the main. But it seems like the, the way that um, Trap has dispersed his army. Oh, this is sick, actually. Wow. Whoa, that's... and these probes. Hey. Oh. That was a very cool move yeah. right there. But Trap is doing some cool moves of his own. A side storm there from the high ground. Looks like he will end up losing a lot of Archons. Oh, oh my god. What am I seeing? OK. Yeah, that one Immortal now, way in the keep way. Keep in mind, there's no creep here. So these Hydras can't exactly run away without taking a lot of damage here. The Nexus goes down. Looks like Leenox is going to leave some of those here. Three DTs, though, actually did counterattack. I'd love to get an update on those. Oh, I think yeah. they were forced out, actually. But he sent three DTs over at the beginning of that, which was a cool move, I thought. <laughs> oh, my god. Never ending. All right, Hydra's coming in here. They're going to take this gateway out. Lenok, he might be able to keep rinsing and repeating. Yeah. And maybe it won't really matter how powerful the late game tech is for Trap, since he will yeah, yeah. have no way to, to cope with how much is already on the map here. And if you're staying mostly on Hydras, the carriers are, well, eventually they'll be super scary, but right at this second, not as much. Okay. A few Bane links. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look wow, at look this. At this. How funny. Okay. He's just going straight after the probes. Yeah, the Bane link's getting a lot of work done as well. So, the... I mean, uh, Trump still has 48. <laughs> I'm going to make baby dinosaur yeah. noises for the rest Trick. of the cast. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm sorry, Artosis. Go ahead. I just made fun of you, and then you stopped talking. <laughs> Please go ahead, Artosis. Uh, ooh, he's going to go for lurkers. <laughs> a lot of Corruptors did pop out as well, by the way. Yeah. So there might be an opportunity coming up uh, based on what the ground army is exactly around. There's been so much action, I'm actually a little confused as to exactly how many Archons there are. But if there's not enough, you know what's really good against not enough Archons? Corruptors. This is true. Get out of here, Phoenixes. Corruptors out of the map, corrupting. Corrupting traps base. Making the probes start smoking. Make them stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. It's the gateway flying unit, too. After That's Crafters, right. you know what's going to happen? Broodlords. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. And by then, you're never going to you're never gonna get that degree. Then. Okay. Jeez. There it is. We knew it. Uh oh. Is this not going to finish? Okay. <laughs> I was about to be like, this could be the most important thing that happens in this game, is yeah. Archon's right underneath that. Morphing Broodlords. Yeah. It's a fun way to lose. You know, it's like, oh, I thought I was playing well. I guess not. Yeah. 
And, you know, the thing about when you have hiders in this many numbers yeah. is suddenly the carriers become flying paperweights because all the interceptors are dead. You really need size from that uh -oh. situation. Oh, my God. But this one DT. Kate boy inside that base, 12 drones killed. Did he have a scythe? Was that I, a scythe I think one? it was a scythe, Kate boy. Oh, man. Instead of a sword, Kate boy. Those are the scariest ones. Yeah. Okay, 21 drones have been killed now. It's just getting worse. Oh, the flank is incoming, though, okay. actually. Ooh, those are some pretty darn good size storms, but the Hydras do remain. They're going to take out this mothership in a matter of seconds or not. It just gets pulled back. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, suddenly Lenok is dead. Uh-oh, yeah. he, he has no more detection here. Yeah, no, not those only that. Just, are just like dying. There's not enough. Yep, GG. Wow. Wow. All right. All right, we go to the final game, then, of the night. Trap needs some more water before he starts. I'm gonna get some water too. I'm gonna as well. Guys, make sure you're drinking enough water. Yeah. Okay. It's important. Stay hydrated, boys. And girls. Indeed. Well, Lenok, he really wanted to have this coordinated attack hitting a bunch of different locations. It seems like Trap kind of hung on, but let's also remember that Lenok took a weird fourth base location and Trap just yeah. stomped it out. Yeah. That and he kind of kept everything. this lead. I mean, maybe if Lenok had been. Uh, you know, more standard in the way he approached the game. It would have allowed him to have enough to then do that closing attack, but yeah, yeah. It I don't was, know. It was a little bit weird, uh, but he had some good tactical moves to help him catch up a bit. Going into Dreamcatcher, our final map. One of these two players hits the round of eight. A the very important one. moment for both of them. That's right. The other one is eliminated. A lot on the line here. Yeah. Including chances for BlizzCon. Neither of these guys really that high. That's right. It's even <laughs> more these guys important looking for, for a victory, a big Big V here. Yes. GSL. <laughs> a big V in he the wants, S. Jesus. He wants the big V. Um, Taking that W home. That's right. As, As they, they say. say. Yeah. And it, what do you do at the end of the game? It's one letter. You just got to say it twice. It's a G. It's a G. An A plus for that joke. <laughs> if you will. In this code S tournament. Um, Look at Trap, man. Trap doesn't want this game to start. He's really thinking. He's like, what am I going to do on yeah. Dreamcatcher? He's like, what am I going to do? What is he going to do? Yeah. Am I overthinking this? Yes, you are, Trap. You're overthinking this. Dreamcatcher. Why, why have we not started this game? One of the players is not even in the lobby. Yeah, it's Trap. Look at Trap. He does not even have yeah. his earbuds in. He just wants a moment to think. Yeah. Trap's That's like trying to is. think of He's like, I'm just. What was the name of that, uh, that one actor that played Batman? You know, not. Uh, he's trying to go over all the different actors in his oh, head. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. can't get into this game until I remember all the different actors that played all Batman. All the different actors. Yeah. Well, Michael Keaton was the best one, yeah. obviously. Oh, no, it was definitely Val Kilmer. Was... <laughs> I always forget that he was Batman. Yeah, that's right. That was the one where we're like, oh, guys. You know which Batman I can never forget? Which one? Ben Affleck. Oof. That's the one I want to forget. I, I wish. Do they still give lobotomies? <laughs> <laughs> How do you I just, get that Guys, just take head? out the part of my brain where I remember that Ben Affleck was ever Batman. I know that you don't watch any superhero movies, Tasteless. No, I don't. I've got one life artosis, and I'm not going to watch a bunch of no, bad. Well, let me tell you, it's a good thing that you, you... I would give up all the Marvel movies if I could take back seeing all the DC movies. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That's right. one way to put it. Uh, Trap, I guess, is going to use his timeout, but it's not going to the bathroom. No. That we know of maybe is right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, but instead of staying there, it is... Uh, yeah, I'm Lee Knock right judge. now is just like... Uh, not getting any younger, bro. Yeah, Lenox ready to go. But it's Trap's right. Trap trying to decide, you know. Oh, they're actually, they're talking to him right now about it. Everyone's talking that lobby. The thing is, we have both the players' IDs as players, so it's hard to tell who's typing. Who's That's not. true, yeah. Trap uh -oh. is just... Trap's still waiting. Is he just going to refuse to play? He's like, yeah. we're going to have to give him a loss on time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, Trap, uh, he went one and one and then just refused to join the third yeah. game. He's how afraid he is right now, Tasteless. He wants his round of eight too bad. I'm going to tell you what, Lenox is going to win. The fact that Trap had to think for that long. You think you think that's it? You're overthinking think he's it. he's done? You're overthinking Artosis, it. Artosis, you're so bold. He's I'm still bold. not in the game. Look at this. He's just... No, he he refuses. Like, they keep trying to invite him. <laughs> I know. We're watching this. Yeah. <clears throat> Trap is uninterested. God. Yeah. Hey. Those, those hands are you on know, the headset, not I on was, the mouth. I was going to say that he's definitely going to lose because of this, but now I think he might win. 
Because it's gone on for so off. long. Because it's gone on for so long. Yeah, no, it's gone. He's oh, gone here past we go. the point of it being bad. Now Headset's it's good again. On. All right, now he knows. He's like, I've got it. Yeah. No, wait, wait. Okay. I've got it. Now I'd pretend I have a sound problem. Yeah. As soon as the game starts. Here's the thing. You can get under Leenok's skin like this. Leenok right now, he's been waiting to start forever. It's like, what is he thinking about? Leenok was planning for the game to be over by now. He was yeah. going to Bainley bust. Yeah, he's like, does he? He's like, I'm supposed to be on the train on the way home right now. We're just going to keep this song on a loop. Forever. We're kind of going with an 80s vibe here. I kind of digging it. Oh, oh my god, we're starting the game. I'm not ready, Tastes. I'm ask for a pause. The casters need a pause. <laughs> Let's go! The last game on Dreamcatcher. Match three. Fight. Ooh, we got the suspenseful music for this one too. Gin Air Green Wings, Trap. I always feel like when this song plays, it's like we're supposed to have a rooftop chase somewhere. Oh. Leenock. Too bad we're not playing a Metalopolis or something like that. Yeah. We had exactly. a lot of maps in the past that were. Oh Whoa! my god, yes! This is why Leenock is a god. The is god going of esports have smiled upon us today. Look at Trap. Trap's like, I could stop you from making a hatchery well, with this probe. Yeah, and here's here's the Leenock's laughing so hard, milk's coming out of his nose. Can't even believe it's the funniest thing he's ever heard. Now Trap should be onto something. He should be saying, "Wait, you should have a pool right at this yeah. second." So he might go check for a regular third base location to see if maybe he missed something. But the fact that there's no pool yet, he knows that there's 300 minerals missing. Okay, it's not there. He's gonna. Well, yeah, he knows. He's, he's like, gonna go north. He's gonna look for gold. Thing is, when you find the gold base, right? Mm -hmm. You can ignore. Yeah, he's checking both the thirds. Oh no! He's checking them in the so wrong order. So he's not 100 confirming it just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he should know. Yeah. But it could be a proxy hatch. It could be a several things. Uh, but I think he's got a good idea that it's a gold. Okay, I want to talk about gold bases just real quick. Yeah. It's almost incredibly predictable the way the game has to go because this is too dangerous for Zerg to have as their first expansion. So Trap will probably go for Adepts and Oracles to try to reduce the, the drone count. Sure, at makes the gold sense. Base. It, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And there's, back in the day, a long time ago, this, I remember this so clearly on Overgrowth when that was one of our maps. That was quite a bit ago. In my opinion, Leenok played the best gold base Zerg out of anybody. Oh, I agree with this. Because yeah, he was he was really good. He would counter the counter. He would do things yeah. like go mutas on a gold base when you're just expecting only roaches. Yeah, because that's so counterintuitive yeah. that you would discard that as a possibility. Be yeah, and the reason why that is is because you get such a huge amount of minerals that the mutas, like, you don't have any more gas than just on regular bases. What we need is gold gases. I think someone made gold gases, actually. I'm open to I'm open I think to we that. had one map like that once, if I recall, a long time ago, but I'm not can't 100% remember. He's trying to get this around. If he can kill the first Oracle, or the first adept. adept, that'd be insane. Okay, the Adept lives, but there's nothing but Lings coming out oh, right now. Oh, God. Nothing but Dude, Lings. He's actually going for a Twilight, so I Hold think on. this could the, be an Adept The Queen's going to be the, a, a part of the attack, Thoratosis. Oh, man. Okay. He does... Barely get that adept around. Oh, oh man! Oh! Oh! Are things gonna go wrong he here? He shades over to otherlings that are there. How is this adept not dead? Finally, yeah, seriously. Well, okay. another adept out now. Hey, he needs to finish the wall though. Finishing the wall is super important right now. Oh! Gets in. Oh Nicely my god! Done. Oh my god! Oh my god! The shield battery keeping this probe alive, but the lings keeping the probe where it is. There's like just one queen here. This is oh insane. Oh my god! That, that, that probe, probe is still alive. not dead. He needs to build another building. Okay, it's a shield battery. This is the craziest is this all. Just not I can't going believe he's just work? going mass lings. Yeah. Yes, of course it's gonna work. Is it? Is it? Though? Yeah. He's making a stalker, and warp gate isn't done. Oh yeah, he's got this. He has got this. Uh oh. God. See, this is why he's so good at gold bases. Like he does things you completely don't expect. The prophecy is true. Artosis was right. Basically, not God. Well, hold on. Let's all die right here, purple. Let's just go. Come on. <laughs> we all have to have unity with him. That's now, right. An additional share battery's up. Oh my god. Jeez. This is Warpy crazy. Finish. Warpy okay, finish. okay. 
He can actually start to get more units out a little bit more quickly Warmer here. shield batteries. Is he even mining? No, he's not mining. No. That he's only good, got. Right? He's only got. You need what, to mine to win. Forty minerals left, so he can't make anything right now. Oh my gosh! Uh, the battery is about to finish, though. That might let him sustain a little bit longer. Oh, oh my god! What a moment this is right now. These two queens are dealing so much damage over time. Yeah. He's got almost oh no workers. Oh my god! He's got another battery out here. <laughs> yeah, there's only fifteen workers here. Okay, he is mining a little bit. By the way, one queen has a transfuse. Every little thing is going to count here. Yeah, the front oh queen is god, actually there's, the one that has sentries it. sentries here. Yeah, this, this is insane. Oh my god, he could get that pylon artosis. He's making another hatchery. Oh my god, did he get the pylon? Yeah, I think he can do it. That powers he's all trying, those shield batteries. trying to batteries. force out a force field here. Oh my god, he's going to cover that queen, but... Oh, good force field. I've chewed off all my fingernails. Look at this. This is crazy. Boom! And the queens remain. Okay, I think we are actually... Are we at the tipping point here? Is this it? I think so. Four queens? That much energy? Yeah. He's got plenty of transfuses. Trap has not been mining. Yeah, he's just targeting out Basically pylons. Basically this entire time. Transfuses coming down here. Oh, the Ling's get in there. Well, this was insane. What a great game. What this a great was, series. This uh, was a real treat to cast. Yeah, Trap's dead. He's coming back here. He's no, trying it's to phase mine. two now, Tasteless. It's it would have been two. funny if he had somehow gotten a dark shrine. Like it was the production tab was broken. We didn't know. Now there's yeah. a DT in every base. It's like, oh, everything's on fire. Okay. Queen's tiptoeing up into the main. The last pylon is about to be unpowered. Or gone, I should say. The gateway's unpowered. And, and that is that. Not, you know, he came in here with a variety of oh, different man. GVP builds, and it worked out. Yeah, it certainly did. Good job to Leenok. Oh, my. Yeah, congrats to him. Yeah. Uh, and the Lean Octopus moves forward to the round of eight. It's been a while since we've seen him up there, but it's well-deserved. Nicely done, the Lean Octopus. Wow, trap. Well, this I has for the guy. Who, imagine losing in a nail biter game like that. He plays really well and then just doesn't quite make it that extra distance. And this has been happening to him a lot. I think that if he just keeps up his training really hard next year, we could seriously see like a trap GSL champion, but don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. Yeah. Right now is a, a time to rejoice about Lenok. Okay, we're going to get that interview with Lenok. Um, up for you guys in just a sec. See how he's feeling now that he has been filled in one of those last remaining spots in the uh, round of eight. Lenox back after six years. Wow. He made it to the quarterfinals. Congratulations. Wow, I didn't realize it was that long. Oh, my God. How do you feel making it to the quarterfinals? It's been so long. I don't know what I was doing for the past six years. I just knew that when I came here today, I had to get to the quarterfinals, and I did, so I'm happy. You were announcing your retirement soon. This is yes. So it's really impressive that, that you've come back and you're showing incredible games. What was your motivation today? <laughs> I think after returning from retiring, I think I felt more comfortable. I didn't feel as much pressure. I felt a, a, only a little bit of pressure once I got into the round of 16. So honestly, I prepped pretty hard. And it looks like my preparation paid off. I was really blown away when you held off that Zealot Charge Rush. Also, that proxy gold uh, base. How much prep did you put into that specific strategy in Game 3? Um, I haven't really practiced that much on Dreamcatcher, maybe one or two times. So, um, when it came on that map, I thought I... Oh, excuse me. I was hoping that he would try to factor in the fact that I used Broad Roaches earlier on. But anyways, on that map, I didn't exactly have a plan, but I had a feeling that oh, this probably should work out against Trap. 
광전자 러시도 얘기를 안할 수가 없어요. 사실 이 벌레를 일분한 뒤라서 이건 무조건 뚫린다. Let's talk about that hold you had in game one against the charge zealots. 그거 많이 당해 보신 건가요? Everybody was thinking there's no way that you'd be able to hold that. You ended up losing the game. What happened back there? Yeah, this build is actually pretty popular. So I've experienced that strategy several times before. So I was basically ready to to take it on and manage it. Even though my third was destroyed, uh, I knew if I could hold it off, I should be fine. That match against Zest must have been very disappointing for you. Can you tell us about that? So on the third map, the, he was ahead from the start. And then in the second game, I don't feel like my hands are working, to be honest. I just felt like I made a lot of mistakes back there. I just wasn't able to use my army the way I wanted. 자 그래도 이 32강에서도 16강에서도 그한번 빼면은 이동현 선수의 멋진 프로토스전을 확인할 수 있었던 것 같습니다. 다음 8강은 이제 풀 프로토스 투 체라인데요. But regardless of that, you showed some great games. Um, you're clearly an excellent ZVP player. So there are two Protoss players in Group D. Their stats and SOS. Do you have any preference on who you'd want to face? He says, good luck, stats. Hmm. She said, why stats? He says, I think we have make for good games. It'll be fun. Your fans must be so happy that you advanced. Do you have anything you want to say to them? Yeah. So it's been a while, everybody. But even when I've had some poor games, you guys keep supporting me. It really means a lot. This is all because of people like you. And so I'm really grateful. Thank you. All right. Well, congratulations again, Linak. And that does it. That's it. We only got yeah. two more spots, Artie. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's going to be all decided on Saturday as well. Here is... What has happened at the end of the day? Zest goes to that top side of the bracket with Maru in it. We knocked to the bottom with a rogue. Uh, this round of eight is really shaping up to be amazing. It's a really interesting round of eight, too, with players like Lee not getting in there. Yeah. And, I mean, the others look pretty normal, but I am not joking here. Like, I, I said during the round of 32, I thought Lee would get at least round of four here. And I look at this. I think Rogue will take out Neeb. I think Lee going to take out whoever he's against. I can, Leenok Rogue, that's a tight one, man. It he's is. He's not a slouch, CVZ. No, <laughs> he's not. I'm really excited to cast Neeb and Rogue. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm really hoping Neeb can advance. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? That would just be crazy. Well, he, he was the only Protoss that could really fight against Rogue at BlizzCon. That's true. So, he held his own. Yeah, possibly. Now, so here is the final group, guys. Uh, it's two Terrans, two Protosses, Stats, Keen, TY, SOS. Look at SOS looking completely evil there. Oh, I know. He's just so evil. And TY, insane. I'm already just pregnant. He's just looking at me and now I'm pregnant. Oh, my God. All right. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Yes. But little do you know, it's Keen's baby. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that group is alert. amazing. I, just, I don't know who's coming out of this group. It is so hard to predict that one. Yeah, it like, really all is. All four of those players are so good. <sighs> yeah. And I know that Keen is kind of a dark horse, but he's been a really high level for a really long time. Imagine that if it's like Keen Leenock finals in yeah, 2018. Yeah, right now Keen has been like the extra in a Star Trek episode where he needs to die, so there's kind of drama. They so keep the main character the phase rifle. Yeah. It's brutal. Um, Whoever that phase rifle's dying. That is all the time we have, guys. Thank you for joining us. We love you. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are.
2018 GSL Season 3 Rock Shears.